In this video, you will learn how to create 3 incredible video effects using CapCut. You can see the list along with the timestamps for each effect right here. Let's dive in. Here is how to create an awesome car effect just like this one. To create this effect, you'll need 2 car videos, one wide angle shot and one close up. Feel free to experiment with different angles. Open CapCut, tap on new project and select the close up video to use as the background. I've chosen this one for the background. After that, tap on overlay and add a car video. Enlarge it to fit the background, then find the remove background tool and tap on it. Here select the custom removal option and then adjust the brush size to your liking. The next step is to use the brush to carefully highlight the car and the lower part of the video just like I did. You can reduce the size of the brush to be able to draw more easily over the car. Make sure every part of the vehicle is highlighted and if you make a mistake, just use the erase tool to fix it. Now wait for the process to complete and then save. When you're done with the editing process, take a moment to position the videos however you like in order to enhance the overall look of your video. I like to position the car clip at the bottom and then make the background clip bigger so that only the wheel is visible. The next step is to go back and select adjust in which we will set the video to look even better. The first thing I like to do is slightly reduce the saturation of the secondary colors in the HSL tab. This way the main colors stand out more. Next, let's darken the video by lowering the brightness a bit, then tweak the contrast, saturation and brilliance to match your style. I usually add sharpness and clarity to make it pop, adjust the white and blacks and finish with a little fade for that cinematic vibe. When you're done, save it and go back. Here is what my video looks like after editing. Big thanks to VSGO for sending me another awesome product to review. I'll quickly review its features and then share how to use CapCut to achieve one of the effects I used in this review. This is VSGO Black Snipe Light. It is a super compact and lightweight tool, making it easy to carry around in your pocket or bag. Using it is a breeze, just a simple click to turn it on or switch modes. Despite its small size, this light delivers impressive brightness that's perfect for any situation. It features multiple lighting modes, so you can switch between high, low and flashing settings depending on your needs. I love that it has a rechargeable battery with a USB Type-C port, so you don't have to keep buying new batteries. Just plug it in and after it's charged, it's ready to use. The build quality is impressive, crafted from strong materials that are ready for any adventure. It has a strong magnetic base, so you can easily attach it to any metal surfaces for hands-free use. I love how it looks on my VSGO camera bag, which I reviewed in a video linked in the description. It can also be used as a keychain and it features a flat wrench that makes it handy for adjusting your tripod. Plus, it's great for opening packages. Whether you need it for camping, emergencies or as a bike light, this light is incredibly versatile for any situation. If you want to find out more or grab one for yourself, just click the link in the video description. Now I'm going to show you how to create this effect that I love to use in my review videos. I'm not sure how to name this effect, but I love the result. It's super useful for review videos and here is how you can create it too. This is what my video looks like before editing. You need to record the video using a tripod. In the video, you can add some elements like I did or move one element in different frames. At the point where you added the first element in the video, you need to freeze the frame. Select your video then find freeze option and tap on it. After that select the part of the video after the freeze frame and then choose the overlay option to move the video below. The next step is to freeze the frame at the point in the video where you added the second element. Simply select the overlay video and press freeze at that point. After that, repeat this process for the other elements you moved or added. Now remove all parts of the video, leaving only the freeze frames below the main video. The next step is to position them like I did 
and then adjust the duration of the freeze frames to your liking. Tap on the animations and you can choose the one you like. I will only add a fade out animations to both frames. Fade out animations are great for this effect, but you can try other options if you want, and you can always make changes while editing. When you're done, go back, tap mask and choose a rectangle or circle mask. Position it so that it covers only the element that is in the frame. After that, select the next freeze frame and repeat the same process. Save it, then go back. Now we will add sound effects to make the effect even better. Tap on the audio tab and then on sound effects. You can choose the pop sound effect like I did, but you can also explore other options like the click sound effect. Position it where the freeze frame appears, then duplicate it and add it to the other freeze frames the same way. The sound effects should be positioned so that they start at the same time where a new element appears in the video. This is how my video looks after editing. The next effect is super interesting and really easy to create. Many of you have asked how to do it and now I will show you exactly how it's done. The first step is to record a video like this. Go to text, then select add text and type in the word you want to appear in the clip. Choose the font you like and then you can make the text bigger. Now in the style tab you can choose the color of the text and adjust the other settings to your liking. After that save. Now align the text with your video and then export it. Next, tap new project and import it along with the original video. Now select the original clip and then tap on the overlay option and position it below. Tap on it, then trim the clip to the part where the person leans down. After that, go to remove background option and press auto removal. Then wait for the process to complete. After editing, your video should look like this. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more like it, be sure to check out my previous videos available here. I'd love to hear your ideas, so feel free to share them in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on all latest content.